Some people go through unimaginable pain losing a child. The Hatfields lost their son to fentanyl and are taking their grief and turning it into a life-saving mission. Tonight, they are our Alabama champions. The grieving, just, you know, missing our son. No, no kid should die before their parents. My heart's broken. Um, he was so smart. He was so kind mm -hmm. and generous and he loved everybody. Christian Hatfield, 28 year old Hayes Hatfield's dad found his son's lifeless body. Um, he was uh, a generous guy. Uh, he had uh, learned how to play guitar at an early age and he loved his music and he loved to travel. Hopes and dreams cut short with one dose of fentanyl. Both Hatfields had the same thought as they mourned their son. She shows up, she says the same thing. He's not dying in vain. All I can think about is somebody else. It was instant. How do you know what that means? It means God has called you. Now Hayes' parents are committed to helping fight the fentanyl epidemic. We have a uh, spring break awareness package that we're going to launch. Um, it's a public service announcement. They've seen the destruction firsthand through Hayes and his friends. Nine people in like seven days from Moody, Alabama all the way to Bessemer. There's only one friend of my son's that's alive out of about 12 right here in Hoover, Alabama. Yeah. Because we don't want parents or family members to go through what we're going through right now. And this stuff is so instantaneously how it kills somebody. You literally have less than minutes to respond to somebody. And so um, where do you, how do you do this? You meet them right where they are. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as tough love. Mm -hmm. There's unconditional love. A powerful mission. They founded the Hayes Foundation and Fentanyl Awareness of Alabama. They want to warn others ahead of spring break to talk to your children about fentanyl. And if you would like to nominate an Alabama champion for us to feature, email us at the address there on your screen. Share at abc3340.com.